So CAT 2025 paper analysis. See, I'm not a very big fan of these kind of videos because I really think once the exam is over, now your focus should be on GDPI preparation. And if you're appearing for that examination, then you can prepare for that. And just discussing on the paper at this time will not change a lot of things. Uh, but yes, since it's a CAT channel and since it's an MBA preparation channel, you are expecting this video to be out there. So let me clear it once and for all. And probably after that, you can start focusing on the rest of the preparation that you have to do. And regarding that as well, let me tell you for GDPI, we are hosting free GDPI sessions for everyone who has attended any of the MBA entrance tests this year is going to appear for the interviews. So I'll put the group link in the description. You can join it from there. I will also be hosting some of the sessions, GDPI sessions personally. So and all, this will be free for everyone who ever has appeared for any examination, any MB entrance test this year. So you can join the group from there. And for ZAD, if you're preparing for that, I have launched my paid ZAD decision making course this year as well. Last year, I received very good response on that. So I've launched it again this year. And that is also live now, ZAD decision. It's only on the decision making section. I will put the link in the description again. You can join the course if you want to. And with that, let me first start with the overall summary of the CAT paper so that anyone who just wants to listen to that and go away can just save his time. So overall, a difficult paper, definitely difficult compared to 2024, somewhere along the lines of 2023 itself. And uh, on this particular paper, I really feel the percentile versus score. If you see for a 99 percentile, if you compare it to last year, I'm expecting around 15, 20 marks. Definitely it will drop maybe 20 marks above 90 percentile for getting the same percentile. The mark will drop by 20 and for getting above 90 percentile uh, compared to last year it can drop by up around 10 to 15 marks maybe 10 marks i would say uh however what has happened this year let me decode each of the sections very uh briefly so vrc what has happened in vrc it was medium to difficult level maybe more difficult to read in this one uh, or maybe more elaborate all of the options that you see as well they were very weird and had longer options for each of the RCs this time and I really believe uh, whatever happens in VRC your score versus percentile doesn't change much I've said this before as well VRC no matter it's an easy paper medium paper or a difficult paper unless and until something very strange has happened the score versus percentile will be almost similar across the year so this year as well you can expect it to be along the lines of last year or 2023 and not much change in VRC score versus percentile. It was medium paper, I would say medium to difficult. You can call it in that range. And uh, after that DLR, that's where the problem starts. And it was definitely a more difficult paper. Compared to last year, definitely more difficult. And obviously this time you will get a higher percentile at the same score compared to last year. But definitely I have a problem with uh, DILR. I'll come to it uh, later or, or maybe I can speak on it here itself. That DILR, I always have a problem that either you give five moderate to difficult sets or you can give five difficult sets as well. Or if you want to judge the students on the basis of set selection, you can probably give three moderate sets and two difficult sets. What will happen is what what has happened in this year? It is three would be moderate or two difficult sets, uh, I would say, and two of the sets in probably slot two and slot three at least. Two of the sets were so difficult. It's a new pattern. It's a different thing that the sets are of a new pattern. However, when the sets are of a new pattern and then you make it so calculation intensive, not exactly calculation intensive, but there are so many layers to unlock that slowly you have to proceed one by one, one by one. No matter how good a student you are, how intelligent you are, you will take time on those particular sets. So first of all, you have to crack the new pattern of set. That is also fine. I really appreciate those kind of sets where you have to think in a new dimension, which has not been practiced before. I really love to solve those sets. But after opening those layers, after that as well, there are so many cases, so many instances to solve that it will take time for anyone. Now, a well-prepared student who probably by mistake has picked any of those two sets in the paper, that person has to suffer because even if it was a difficult question, no, he, he would have still solved it. He would have, if he's a very well prepared student, he would have solved it. But just because this is very difficult, very difficult in the sense you have unlocked the pattern after that as well, you have to layer by layer open those sets. And no matter how good you are, it will take you 20 minutes around to solve that set. When this kind of a thing happens, then it becomes a problem for well prepared students. One bad set selection and it's over. It, it's so much on the fortune, it's so much on someone's 
luck as well that you choose the easy three easy sets and obviously you progress and you're well prepared obviously after that then you can solve those sets at least but when you have sets which are almost impossible to solve uh, during the exam at least outside the exam you can solve those sets easily but during the exam if you have to think like 15 20 minutes on that particular set it becomes difficult and that's why that's the concern that i have with this kind of a paper 2023 if you had seen the paper all the sets were of new pattern and that's why people found it difficult but for an intelligent student for someone who is very well prepared with the first principles has just not mugged up the steps to solve a set but is actually decoded patterns how to solve different dlr sets and is able to do it he would have found the 2023 paper solvable because no matter which set he picks up he will be at least able to solve that set if he has a that basic first principles in place but in this paper unfortunately three sets in each of the slots kind of you can do it uh two sets were very difficult if you had chosen those two sets probably you were among those unlucky uh lots so definitely set selection is an important criteria of lrdi preparation as we always say but don't make it so important that uh, anyone who has chosen those two sets uh, even if he was very well prepared he has to suffer keep the sets as difficult sets that can be solved maybe keep it very unique or uh, a new kind of a pattern which probably needs a very intelligent student to crack it however once you crack that pattern once you crack the logic behind the set you should be able to solve it quick it should not be that okay you have cracked the logic and after that step by step you have to open layer by layer you have to open the set and uh, it, it, it becomes very difficult but lrdi overall difficult from what I've heard, I have seen more seen the slot two paper. Slot three, what I've heard is was even more difficult. Uh, slot one, slightly easier probably, but uh, you cannot predict at this point of time. The idea is that uh, yes, it was difficult, so it will come down. The scores required for the same percentile compared to last year will drastically come down in DILR. And exact overall score versus percentile, I will discuss at the end of the video. Now coming to quants, uh, you can call this paper as well difficult. Uh, compared to 2024, definitely difficult. Compared to 2020, 23 almost same level or slightly easier than 2023 i would say because what happened this year was it was not a very it, it, was, it was a difficult paper for sure however it was also calculation intensive paper so a lot of students who have prepared and uh, can solve uh, quant questions they might have solved these questions they are only calculation intensive it's just that you have to break down the question into four or five steps and then solve it so any student would have solved it it's not necessary that someone who's very good at quants would have been able to solve it and would have found the paper easy it is calculation intensive so anyone who has picked up that particular question needs to solve it layer by layer in this quant section as well uh now again the usual suspects were there arithmetic and algebra as i've said again and again if you pick up any of the last three months video i've always said focus on arithmetic and algebra do not focus on the other topics just pick up arithmetic and algebra the, the paper pattern can change but if you are short on in time arithmetic and algebra will dominate and this year this year the same happened arithmetic especially like it was calculation intensive because if you see you have to open and solve each of the questions in three four steps so calculation intensive it was if you are someone who followed the round by strategy i always suggest you to follow the round by strategy you would have seen you could have solved very few questions in round one especially for someone like me who thinks that only questions which i can solve in less than 90 seconds i would solve in round one i would have left a lot of questions unattempted in round one for round two because all of the uh, question intensive calculation intensive sets it would have taken me probably two minutes to solve so i would have left it then and there uh, but uh, and maybe after round one i would have started panicking that i have only attempted few questions most of them are for round two but but uh, yes, that's also about controlling the nerves. And I usually prefer to do it sequentially. So I might have gone sequentially and wasted a lot of time in solving those questions. But most of the questions in arithmetic, easy questions as well, were calculation intensive. So that's why every student actually would have wasted time. Maybe they would have started with the belief that I'll solve the easy questions first, calculation intensive later. But there were not many questions like that. So you had to return to those questions in round two and solve it anyway. And uh, so question selection, not very important for quants at this stage. Uh, algebra, there were a lot of inequalities, ranges, questions, type in the answers were also there for LRDA and quant both. So that also affects your percentile that decreases is the kind of percentile required the, the kind of score required to get the same percentile so that also can affect the percentile to an extent but overall i believe 
you can expect it to be along, across, along the levels of 2023 or maybe slightly higher score you would need to get the same percentile compared to 2023. Uh, but uh, compared to 2024, definitely it will fall down because it was both, uh, yes, the questions were kind of difficult as well. And uh, at the same time, the easy questions also were calculation intensive. So you had to be very patient throughout the paper. After DLR, you had to be very patient for the quant section. And as I've always said, you have to treat CAT as four, three different examinations of 40 minutes each. Verbal, DLR and Quant are three separate examinations of 40 minutes each. And a lot of people, a lot of students again did that mistake. LRDI was difficult. They probably kept uh, moving to and fro across the sets, could not solve any of them. They became so tense that they started panicking in the Quant paper as well. Quant paper was not very difficult in the sense if it was calculation intensive, so you had to be patient there. So if you are already panicking and if you now think that, okay, this question will also take me three minutes of time, three, three and a half minutes, this question will take, you will start panicking that, okay, I will not attempt this question, I'll attempt the other one. Next question as well, you see three to four minutes, this question will also take. So you will start panicking in that instant. And that is where a lot of students did do bad because they could not forget what happened in DLR. They carried it to quants and probably those students who would have got out of this, listened to that strategy, that 40, 40, 40 minutes, three different examination, none of which should be uh, mattering. None, uh, your DLR should not uh, counter your actions or should not influence your actions for uh, uh, your LRDI basically should not influence your actions for the quant paper. It should not be that LRDI you have attempted less, you should attempt more in quants. If you came with that mentality, then probably you would have done well if you had treated quant as a separate examination. But a lot of students, I know it's easier said than done because not a lot of students can separate that and that's why uh, you suffered some of them at least suffered in the quant paper too but overall difficult paper as i said 2023 onwards as i was saying again and again 2023 expected to be across the same range let me give you the overall uh, percentile versus score calculation as well what i'm expecting it to be so 99 percentile approximately 80 marks i'm thinking uh, if you get around 80 marks you should be able to get a 99 percentile this year last year obviously it was much more uh 95 percentile across around along 60 marks i think you should get maybe lesser than that you can get a 95 percentile as well but above 60 marks you should definitely be able to crack this 95 percentile range and 90 percentile across 47 48 marks if you get you should be able to get a 90 percentile at least so that's what i am predicting from this paper compared to what 2023 was and also the fact that less number of uh, uh, there are less number of cat takers this year so obviously to get the same percentile you would need a slightly higher score because less number of people would be there in that uh, top one percentile right so maybe you would need a slightly higher uh, because of that but that does not matter number of students who was there what percentile you get because the seats would be the same but that's kind of my prediction 99 around 80 marks 95 above 60 marks or maybe it might come down 90 per 5 percentile might come down a little as well it might come down to 55 56 but depending on uh, if uh, how, how the students transition from LRDI to quant as I was saying some students faltered if a lot of students had faltered during that transition of going from a very difficult paper to a difficult paper then uh probably uh, it would further decrease to 54 55 but uh, overall maybe 60 marks would be fair to say and uh, after that there is 90 percentile as i already said already said 47 48 marks you can expect this but again this is these are all expected percentile versus uh, scored and uh, if for the actual results, wait for the answer key, wait for your CAT scorecard. And once the scorecard comes out, I think you will have better prediction because everyone will start feeding their data. And on the basis of that data, we can make a better prediction of how the students have performed because currently uh, it, it's very difficult to judge. The students say the paper is difficult, but it might so happen that some of them have performed really well, or it might happen that they are saying difficult, but actually all the students have performed so bad that uh, the percentile comes down. So, okay. So after the scorecard, we will be able to give you a better sense of the data however don't think a lot about that it's over just focus on your gdpi preparation that preparation once the scorecard comes out start filling the college application forms remember this is very important don't forget to fill the college application forms i'll keep sharing videos with you about the different college applications that are opening based on whatever percentile you are expecting do remember to fill those college application forms because once that goes out you will not get another chance okay if you want to re reappear for cat that's a different thing you can check 
check that for later once you convert all the colleges and everything for the next two three months just focus on converting the colleges after that you can make a decision whether you want to join a college not join a college uh, give cat attempt reattempt cat paper want to continue in the job leave cat preparation altogether leave the hope of mba altogether everything we can decide after three or four months but for the next three four months your only target should be the next few examinations and to convert whatever colleges you are getting the calls for so i will be with you in this journey throughout your interview preparation phase even for cat 2026 candidates i am there so for the interview preparation as i said i'm anyway hosting free gdpi sessions but on youtube as well i'll be releasing a lot of videos on interview preparation how i prepared for interviews what were the different interview experiences and uh, also different answers how you can frame different answers for your interviews so make sure if you are going to appear for those interviews you subscribe to the channel you stay updated with the channel even if you are just an mba aspirant wants to go for the cat examination next year or so as well then also you can subscribe to the channel i'll keep releasing videos and that's it for this particular one uh, make sure you before you leave you subscribe to the channel that definitely helps me a lot and uh, yes see you in the next video